Hi YouTube, um, I have not done an update in a while and I thought maybe I should get back to that. Um, so I'm going to be doing a Riley's Swarm Month update and I'm also going to be talking about a few of my favorite products that I've found her. Um, so yeah, we'll get started with that. Anyways, so she is four months and three days. She was 15 pounds, five and a half ounces, um, 24 and a half inches long and her head circumference was 16 and a half inches. Um, her weight, she was above 75%. She's always been kind of heavy. Um, her height was just 50%. And the shots she got, um, one of them was called Pentacel. I don't know what that is. The Roto something. And Prevnar. I know one of them was the um, polio vaccine which is my mouth. That's not bad. It's this really sweet stuff and she really likes it. It's not, not bad at all. And then the other two were shots. So, of course she was screaming and all that good stuff. Um, I read somewhere that says if you dip a pacifier in sugar water and give that to them right before, it won't make the pain as bad. Um, I tried it. No. It does not work. Um, but one thing was, is my little girl hates pacifiers. She will not take them. But if I can get her to take one, it really helps her to calm down. So what I did instead was, after the shot, I poured some of the sugar water on the pacifier, gave it to her, and then, then she would start sucking on it. And so that really helped her to calm down because she doesn't take pacifiers. She doesn't really know how to suck her thumb very well. Um, so this worked great. We were able to get in the car and go. <laughs> so yeah, um, it was really good to hear. They also talked about her torticollis. Um, the doctor looked at her again. She said, you know, everything looks great. Um, just, I have to wait and see what the physical therapist says after New Year's. She'll be back. And um, I'll see what they say then. And until then, I'll keep doing her exercises, which she hates. But, um, you know, if it's good for her, then I'll do it. I wanted to tell you guys about some of the toys I found that are really, really good, I think. Um, first of all, when the... The therapist came to see Riley for the first time. She noticed that all of her like rattles and toys like that, they weren't very good ones. Um, you really have to look for something that they can pick up easily. A lot of rattles are like so cute and adorable and you think, oh, they're going to love this. And they do. They like the colors and all that stuff. But there's a lot of problems with them because one, they're either too heavy or two, there's not a good place for them to actually grab it and shake it, which is the point of a rattle. So I went and I went to Target and I looked everywhere, like every single rattle, and um, it actually happened to be the cheapest rattle I could find by Bright Starts. It looks like this. It's got a little twisty barbell. Um, there's no rings on the bar, which a lot of them are perfect size, perfect weight but they have rings on them so it's hard for them to pick it up but this is great uh, it's by bright starts they also make them in blue but they had that this was the one they had at my store and they're about three dollars so you cannot go wrong with this and you know it's got rattles it's got a mirror in one side and it's clear in the other um, so this was really great my mom is a preschool teacher and she said go find an O-ball she showed me a picture on the internet. They didn't have them at Target, but an O-ball. They're perfect. She said developmentally, they're excellent because um, little kids can grab them without really having to try very hard to find a way to pick it up because any way you grab it, it's really easy to hold. You guys have seen these. Now there's one called O-ball, and that's the company that makes them. It's just this, this part right here. It's squishy. Um, so it's not, it's not too hard. But this one is made by, um, Baby Einstein. It's got the little worm on it. And then inside you can see there is a ball. And you, you know, it's like a little rattle. But this is great because they can hold it anywhere. If they even just get one finger in it, they can hold it. So this is excellent. She loves it, rolls around with it, tries to chew on it. It's a little hard to chew on, but that's okay. Santa Claus went and got her um, a bunch of things for her stocking. Um, she had, uh, let's see, she had her baby's first um, organic peas by Earth's Best. And she had 
um, her very first little container of rice cereal by Gerber, and it has DHA in it. I don't know, just <laughs> thought we'd try it, which um, I'll do that in another update, but she did really well at eating her first cereal, which was cool. It's in my new video, um, the Christmas video, if you want to see it. Um, but back to the stocking. Um, she, we got her, I mean, Santa Claus got her these lots of links, which are really cool. They're all different colors, different textures, um, different patterns. It's, these are great. Um, best $3 toy I could have gotten her. <laughs> you know, you spend your money on all these expensive things and it turns out the cheap things are the best. So I got these. They're lots of links by Bright Starts. Okay, now to my favorite thing. Um, how many of you parents hate baby socks? I know I do. <laughs> um, you want your kids' feet to be warm, but their socks always fall off. You find yourself putting their socks on like at least 20 times a day, it seems like. Um, no matter what they do, they just start sliding off. So I did a little research and I thought, tube socks, baby tube socks, if they'll come up to their knees, they'll stay on, surely. So I found this website and it's called skatersocks.com. I'll put the link in the sidebar or there, whatever side it's on. <laughs> I'll put the link in the sidebar for you guys. Um, but they look like this. These are little baby tube socks. They're nice and stretchy. For, you, for those of you that um, want good quality things, I don't know if you can see it, but they are made in the USA. Excellent. <laughs> They're made in the USA. They're 100% cotton. They're nice and stretchy. Um, you, you know, their foot's in this part right here, and then depending on how long your baby's legs are, they'll go up to their knees. Now, my little girl is four months old, and they go all the way up to her knees. You know, they, they end it right in that little crease behind her knees, and they stay up really, really well. I mean, I put these on her this morning for the first time. They stayed on all day. Um, I put a pair on her after her bath, um, before bed and so we'll see if they're still on the morning which I can guarantee you they will be if they didn't come off when she was kicking around today so these are great get some they come in all different colors these are the hot pink um, they have black green yellow I mean they have everything so get yourself a pair so I went to Target and I was looking around and they have bows they have these little bows they're on alligator clips you can see that these have dots some are just pastel colors that are plain. Um, these are great. They come with like six in a package for like three dollars. So you can't go wrong there. I've, I've bought like four or five packages of those bows. Um, also, I went to Kohl's and I was getting her one of those rock stacks with the colored rings that stack up smaller and smaller. I got her one of those. And then I was at the checkout and I saw they had a Kohl's Cares for Kids um, stand there that has books and animals and stuff. So what it is, is the an the books and animals, they, they give 100% of their net profit to Kohl's Cares for Kids charity. Um, they support children's health and education initiatives nationwide, which is great. Um, everything's $5, and... Um, I guess once they get their money back, that what it costs them to make the product, they do the profits to this organization. We got her a moose to go with her book. If you give a moose a muffin, you can see it there. But this is one of my favorite books I read when I was little. And this is part of the Kohl's Cares for Kids. It was only $5. And this one too. And a little moose that goes with it. So you spent $10 and you're supporting a charity. Can't get any better than that. Oh, in case anybody wonders, to make my video, I use the um, I think it's called iMovie HD. You can upload HD video. You can it comes it comes like standard with any Mac computer, but it's really cool and I like it and it's easy. Um, so yeah, and you can also record directly from your webcam to the program. Um, without having to do it all separately. That's what I'm doing now. Um, so yeah, I um, hope everybody had a happy holidays 
and if you have any questions about anything let me know I'm gonna put links in the sidebar about where I got things um, so 